Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. An update really for my earlier Simbrief integration tutorial. Quite a few things have been tweaked and changed and there's some new features as well to talk about and discuss that I've been testing very recently and will now be available in the mod by the time you guys likely see this. And that is coordinate input within the Simbrief integration which is really cool especially for those of you who like to fly the A320 Oceanic. So we're going to go through that with a dummy flight plan from London Heathrow as we can see using the Flyby Wire A320X to JFK. So this is going to be split into two parts. So initially it's going to be showing you guys how to get your Simbrief integration set up in case you haven't already done it or you're not quite sure where the new option locations are. And then the second phase of this will be actually physically importing the flight plan and looking at the um, coordinates as well that have been input to so a few things to discuss uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it if you do make sure you give us a like and make sure you click that subscribe button down below as well so I've gone into Simbrief already and I've generated the route currently I've had to actually f uh, split the nat track up into coordinates which is very easy to do you just scroll down onto the map as you're on the Simbrief planning page find the coordinates jot them all down and then you type them into the uh, flight plan route box instead and then you hit generate. So, to set up Simbrief, MCDU menu, which is the first page you'll see when you load, you can hit clear once you've aligned the IRS above, hit options, AOC, and then you have a Simbrief menu option at the very bottom left, click into there, and you've got two options, it's either one or the other. Again, this might change in the future. Uh, currently, I just put in my username, but you can also put in your user ID and I've shown you where that is on my Simbrief tutorial of actually how to use the website itself so do check that out nice and short video showing you the ins and outs of Simbrief so you can put either value there once you've done that you can just hit MCDU menu again ATSU AOC and then init press and this is for the start of the actual flight plan import so in we go currently blank as you can see and we want to hit this blue button here for init data request and in comes the flight plan estimated time on route 7 hour 21 and some uh, off blocks times and things like that in there too so back to the AOC menu perf weight and balance and you can see at the moment we are 59.6 tons 9.4 tons of fuel just from spawning. Let's hit refuel and the aircraft will change itself and uh, we've now refueled to 18.9 tons. We can then press the bottom right arrow to go to the payload tab and hit load and that's going to simulate the loading of all the cargo, baggage and passengers and you can see there we've gone up to a gross weight of 76.9 tons there. And that's pretty much most of the initial setup done. Now all we need to do is go to the init A page and actually import the flight plan itself. Make sure of course you've aligned your IRS already as well. And we go init, init request. Give it a minute because it's especially for this particular oceanic route there's quite a lot for it to pull in. And we should see on our plan display here, our nav display, the route. Pickle is the start of our oceanic crossing over there, so that's uh, looking okay so far. So we can go ahead, and you can see now it's changed AOC active flight plan uplink. Hit clear, clear those, and if you want to add a cost index as well at this point, we can go ahead and put that in. And if it's not been imported itself, and the next page is going to be looking at our zero fuel weight, zero fuel weight center of gravity. And initially, we can just go ahead and click that, hit enter and we can look at fuel planning It's 17.6 and this is without the SIDS or STARS so we can go ahead and amend that in a little while let's go ahead and have a little look at our flight plan then so now we've got coordinates that can go into the actual Simbrief route itself which is really good especially for little trips say for example Lisbon to Ponta Delgada in the Azores there's one oceanic coordinate waypoint there and same for this trip across the ocean as well it makes it a little easier, takes the need to input it manually ourselves away, which is really good. 
So pickle, now the next bit we should see is a coordinate. There we go, 57 degrees north, 20 degrees west. And that's shown in the current MSFS input, 57, 20 north. The next waypoint, 57.30. And you can see there 56 degrees north, 40 degrees west, 55 degrees north, 50 de degrees west. And then Lompsy, which is the start of our arrival into the United States for this particular trip. And then Taffy as well, which is the end of it. Of course, as we get closer, we would then have to go in and input our star for the arrival into JFK. But for this point now, we could go ahead and just add in our departure route too. So for the purpose of the example, we're going to be flying out of 27 left on a number like one golf departure. And we can go ahead and hit insert there. And you can see we've got that whole flight plan from the MCDU. Thanks to the Simbrief integration. Nice and easy. Saves a lot of time on the ground as well. And then you can focus on getting everything else ready and getting on your way. So there we go. Hope you've all enjoyed the very short tutorial showing you A, the Simbrief integration and B, the new coordinate import as well, the functionality of uh, adding coordinates into the flight plan. Thanks to the Fly by Wire A32NX mod. Let me know how you get on in the comments below and be sure to click that subscribe button down below as well. I hope to see you all very soon for a live stream. Thank you all for watching.